The cloth does indeed date back to the time of Christ and with artificial intelligence having something to say about the shroud as well. At the core of a supercomputer, thousands of lines of code run at dizzying speed, while an artificial intelligence analyzes millions of data points about a single object, the Shroud of Turin. It is not looking for a face or visible stains. What it seeks to decipher is the hidden pattern within the millennia-old fibers. And suddenly, it stops. It has detected something. A repetitive pattern, a mathematical symmetry lying concealed beneath the image everyone sees. A type of structure no medieval artist could have conceived, and no natural phenomenon can explain. Now, scientists face a riddle that challenges the known. What does this improbable discovery imply about one of the most debated artifacts in history? The shroud, a linen cloth over four meters long, bears a blurred, spectral image of a man who appears to have suffered intensely. For many believers, it is a sacred relic. For skeptics, a sophisticated medieval forgery, curiously we have sent humans to the moon, decoded the human genome, yet we still cannot agree about a piece of cloth. In 1988, three prestigious laboratories carried out radiocarbon dating tests on a sample of the shroud. All reached the same conclusion. It was manufactured between 1,260 and 1,390. Case closed, or was it? For the shroud has always been full of details that don't fit. Everything began to change in 1898 when lawyer and amateur photographer Secondo Pia took the first photograph of the shroud. In the darkroom, as he developed the negative, he discovered something that left him speechless. The image in the negative was actually a positive portrait, incredibly sharp. The shroud did not show a simple image, but a photographic negative, centuries before photography even existed. And that, by itself, is deeply unsettling. How was that achieved? Moreover, the image on the cloth is so superficial that it only affects the outermost layer of the linen's microfibers with a depth of just a few hundred nanometers. To give an idea, a human hair is about 80,000 nanometers thick. The coloration does not penetrate like ink or paint would. There are no brush strokes, no visible direction, it seems rather as if the fibers were chemically altered to produce that tone. Scientists have tried to replicate the image with techniques such as applying heat, acids, or even dust over statues. Although some results were similar, none ever fully reproduced the shroud's unique properties. And this is where the story becomes even stranger. The image on the shroud is not only strange in its appearance, it also contains an unexpected level of complexity, precise three-dimensional information. In the 1,970 seconds, researchers from the US, Air Force Academy analyzed a photograph of the shroud using a device called VP-8, a tool developed by NASA to interpret planetary images. What they discovered was astonishing. Unlike a normal image, in the shroud, the intensity of each point corresponded to the distance between the cloth and a three-dimensional body. Darker areas, like the nose, were closer, lighter ones further away. From a two-dimensional image, the device generated a coherent three-dimensional relief map. No known painting or photograph has ever contained this kind of spatial data. And this is where scientists began facing a fascinating dilemma. How could something dated to the Middle Ages incorporate a technology that seems more at home in the future? That is the enigma, an object with a medieval date, yet revealing features no forger of that era could have imagined. Today, artificial intelligence has joined the mystery. And not only that, it has shaken the entire field. Scientists fed ultra-high-resolution digital scans of the shroud into powerful neural networks. These AIs knew nothing of religion or history. Their task was singular, find patterns. And what they found has baffled even the experts. 
The AI identified a hidden layer of structural information, a system of faint geometric symmetries and mathematical proportions repeated throughout the image. It is not about the man's figure. It is something deeper, as if there were a secret design, a coded map within the very fibers of the cloth. It also confirmed that the image contains three-dimensional data, but with much greater precision. It found symmetries aligned in the face, the hands, the torso, all obeying a defined geometric logic. This does not resemble an artistic work. It looks like the product of an advanced process. Now, scientists face a possibility bordering on the impossible. What if this famous relic is not just an artifact, but a technology we still do not understand? To grasp why the AI's findings are so impactful, we must go back to 1988. That year, a small sample from one corner of the shroud was cut and sent to three prestigious laboratories, Oxford, Zurich, and Arizona. They applied a method called accelerator mass spectrometry, an extremely precise technique that measures carbon atoms to estimate age. All three laboratories agreed the cloth dated between 1,260 and 1,390. Media headlines were immediate. The mystery was solved. The shroud was a forgery. But objections soon began to arise. Several experts pointed out a key problem. The sample did not represent the entire shroud. It had been taken precisely from a highly handled area, possibly restored after a 1532 fire, when a group of nuns repaired the scorched edges and reinforced the cloth. A chemist named Raymond Rogers, a member of the Sturp team in 1978, examined leftover threads from that sample. Under the microscope, he discovered they were different from the rest of the cloth. They contained cotton, were coated with plant gum, and were dyed. His conclusion was clear. What was dated was not part of the original fabric. To understand why the AI's discovery is so impactful, we must go back to 1988. That year, a small sample was cut from one corner of the shroud and sent to three highly prestigious laboratories, Oxford, Zurich, and Arizona. They applied a method called accelerator mass spectrometry, an extremely precise technique that measures carbon atoms to estimate age. All three laboratories agreed the cloth dated between 1,260 and 1,390. Media headlines were immediate. The mystery was solved. The shroud was a forgery. But objections soon arose. Several experts pointed out a key issue. The sample was not representative of the whole shroud. It had been taken precisely from a heavily handled area, possibly restored after a fire in 1532, when a group of nuns repaired the scorched edges and reinforced the fabric. A chemist named Raymond Rogers, a member of the Sturp team in 1978, examined leftover threads from that sample. Under the microscope, he discovered they were different from the rest of the cloth. They contained cotton, were coated with plant gum, and were dyed. His conclusion was clear. What had been dated was not part of the original fabric. Rogers's finding reopened a debate many had considered settled. If the sample was not authentic, then the entire dating was called into question. Since then, several independent studies have proposed dates very different from those obtained in 1988. Using techniques such as vibrational spectroscopy and X-ray analysis, some researchers have suggested that the shroud could be around 2,000 years old. One study even placed it around 900 B.C., with a margin of error of two centuries. Another pointed to the first century, coinciding with the time of Christ. The problem is that these methods do not enjoy the same level of acceptance as carbon-1-4 dating. And so, the debate continues to divide the scientific community. Here is where the role of artificial intelligence becomes crucial, because the AI did not need to physically touch the shroud, it did not analyze an altered sample, it worked directly on the image. And most importantly, 
The patterns discovered by the AI do not depend on the age of the cloth. They are tied to the process of image formation. They are part of the very essence of the shroud. So even if you accept that the shroud comes from the Middle Ages, that resolves nothing. In fact, it raises an even bigger problem. How could a forger from the 13th or 14th century without knowledge of optics, photography, or nanotechnology create an image containing three-dimensional data, hidden geometric patterns, and symmetries that we can only detect today thanks to artificial intelligence? It's madness. Because we're not just talking about a striking portrait, but about a mathematical structure embedded at the microscopic level. A level of precision so high that some researchers describe it as a kind of spatial intelligence encoded in the linen fibers. This is not something a medieval artist, no matter how talented, could have achieved by accident, not even intentionally. The technical level simply did not exist. And here lies the paradox. AI did not solve the mystery of the Shroud's age, it made it irrelevant. Because what matters now is not when it was created, but how it was possible to create something like this in any era. So, what exactly did artificial intelligence see? It was not a hidden message or secret signature, it was something more fundamental. The neural networks used a technique known as principal component analysis. This method removes noise in the data to extract the most relevant patterns. When applied to the scans of the shroud, the image of the man became secondary. What emerged was a structured field of information. The intensity of the image followed a precise mathematical logic, almost as if obeying a physical law. The closer the cloth was to the body, the stronger the effect, and vice versa. That is not how shadows in a painting work. An artist creates the illusion of depth through technique. But here there is no illusion. There is real depth data encoded in the fibers. To reproduce this by hand, a forger would have needed advanced knowledge of physics, mathematics, and microscopic control of the medium. It simply makes no sense. And yet, there, it island. But the AI found even more. It detected harmonic repetitions, hidden proportions, as if the image were based on a kind of visual music, the distance between the eyes, the symmetry of the hands, the curvature of the chest, everything fit into an underlying geometric design. These patterns were invisible to the naked eye, buried under centuries of damage and wear, but the AI saw them clearly. To verify it wasn't an illusion, researchers tested images of other ancient works. And no, none displayed this geometric structure. The phenomenon appeared exclusive to the shroud. This suggests something radical. The image was not formed by direct contact. It was not painted nor printed. Rather, it seems to have been projected from an unknown source of energy. Theories have been proposed, such as an electrical discharge or an intense burst of ultraviolet radiation, but none have successfully replicated all aspects of the image. In the end, perhaps we are not facing an artifact, but a phenomenon. And if that is true, what kind of phenomenon is it? Leave us your opinion in the comments and subscribe if you want to continue exploring the world's most unsettling mysteries. May God bless you greatly. Amen.